Hi guys, it's me Myra and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you guys what's been going on with these dogs, these puppies for the last two weeks. So if you want to hear about this, stay tuned. Your dogs out. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to talk about me. What I've been going through, okay? What I've been suffering. Nah. But all in all, this is, has been an amazing experience. Like, it's it's amazing. I have grown so attached to these puppies. Like, I just want them to go to great homes. Like, I I, I want to give, like, the person who's getting them, like, I want to do a whole background check. Like, criminal record, all that. Okay? My boyfriend's like, you're doing too much. You know, I just grown so attached. I didn't think I would be like that. I thought I would be like, like, I just want them to leave. Get out. Bye. But it's like, I want them to stay for like three months, four months. Like, then you get adopted out. You know, I'm so attached. It's, it's been, it's been amazing. It's amazing. You know, I wouldn't trade this experience for nothing. Like, it, it's been wonderful. But let's get on the bad stuff, okay? Because, you know, there's always pros and cons. So, con number one. After she gave birth for the first, for the first two days, I was sore. Me and my boyfriend was so sore, okay? The back of my thighs, my lower back, my ass was sore. Those muscles was done, okay? From squatting so much, like, you know, always going down to see what's happening, helping her. Like, you're squatting so much, okay? That's, it was crazy. Then, the lack of sleep, because I took over the night shift since... My boyfriend takes our daughter to school in the morning, so I want him to be rested so he can drive, you know, and be safe. So I did the night shift, and I didn't sleep, okay? I did not sleep. One of the puppies was colic. I'm going to tell you about that. So I was up all night, and you have to make sure your dog is not sitting on them because she thought she was a mother hen. She needs to sit on them, Okay. Either she was sitting on them or she wanted them all to be pushed up to her face and surrounding her. Like, no, they they can't eat right there, you know? So, yeah, it was it's just a whole bunch of moving them back and forth and whatnot. So, I was stressed. I was emotional. The third day, I snapped, and I was just crying. Like, I haven't been up for this long since my daughter was a baby, okay? I was stressed out, okay? It was bad. Mm -hmm. bad. So yeah, that's really basically what I suffer from. Everything is all good now. You know, I could leave them for hours at a time. They always got the cameras on them. You should get a baby monitor because the notifications going on your phone and be too much. So baby monitor it is. Okay, next time that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, right now it's it's cool beans. I could leave them for like six hours at a time. You know, I'll probably come see at two o'clock in the morning. I'm sleeping until 8 o'clock. I wake up and I go check on them or whatever. So another thing for her, for Royal, the mama, first time mama, was um, she didn't know what to do. Like I said, she was trying to sit on them or whatever. And that's the thing we didn't know about the welcoming box, why they have that border around. We, we never knew what that was for. I never heard a video say what it was for. But now I know it's so that way if the puppies get behind her, they could crawl out a way out, which we needed because a lot of them got behind her. We constantly moving them, you know. So next time I'll probably get like a either build some type of better welcome box or um, buy one. Because, yeah. So if you just got a pool, you need like, I've seen people do DIYs with the pool noodles, gluing it, taping it, whatever. Do that. So right now they're two weeks, like they're fine, like and their eyes are open so they can move around and go to the right spot. So, um, what else would hurt? Um, the first two days she didn't want to leave. Um, she didn't want to eat. You know she'll drink water, but she slept mostly. She was getting the deepest sleep I ever seen her sleep. You know you couldn't you call her name she didn't get up. We had forced her to go to the bathroom, like literally put the leash on her and walk her to the backyard. Um, 
she's also experiencing hopefully is this is all it be but she might be have blow coat i've seen patches on her side of her head the hair fell out um she also has sunburn nose from sitting under the heating lamp so we had to put A and Z ointment or Vaseline throughout the day, but she hates to be anything to touch her like that. She don't like to be groomed. She don't want you to do stuff like that. So as soon as she see me come with my finger out, she was like ducking her head. So yeah, but by the fourth day, she was back to herself. Like what really surprised us was they love to play with the water hose, so she heard it and she jumped out and she went back there. She ever since then she been herself. She'll get up to go to the bathroom, get up to go eat in the kitchen. You know we don't no longer have to bring food to her, so that's really good. She's really herself and she gives herself breaks. We don't have to force her to get out and lock the door behind so she don't go back. She'll give herself a break, you know. And she kind of she know well she does know their cries. So she'll know if they just whining because sometimes puppy just likes to whine, which I Googled. Sometimes it, they just like to do it. Not as in colicky form, but it's, they just like to do it. So she distincts, she knows their different cries. So if she'll go check on them to see, you know, she needs to get in there, she'll look to see. If they don't, she'll go sit back down. You know, she need a break. It's not of them, okay? <laughs> so she also have lost tons of weight okay um post-pregnancy she was always like 90 pounds 95 you know we try to not push her to 100 you know we want her to be a working dog you know active and can move you know because a lot of these bully people they want their dogs to be 100 plus and the dog just staggering like not moving good not athletic can't you know so yeah we try to keep her like 90 pounds so that's what she was. Uh, um, her last day of pregnancy, she was 107 pounds. The next day, she was 88 pounds. Right now, she's 82. She hasn't been 82 pounds since she was probably like eight months old. And I don't like the way she looks at all. You know, them babies is draining her. We do feed her four times a day. She's on the high calorie puppy food. You know that she don't like that i had to make a special blend for her for her to eat it because she hates it right? she always hated it before when we first started it she doesn't like it at all so she gets fed four times a day and we fill her bowl up so she's eating she's eating you know we make sure she eats things that she likes like she loves raw food so we're trying to incorporate that before we wasn't doing it because i felt like i don't know like was it safe for her to really eat raw food and then go back to babies you know, especially when their belly buttons were still open, you know, the wound wasn't close. You know, I didn't really, we didn't feed her that. So now she gets raw. I don't feed it to her like she wants it, but I do feed it for her for dinner. So she gets it one time a day, you know, the chicken quarters or whatever like that. But I've been, but she's doing much better, you know. She's not really, she wasn't on top of cleaning them. Um, because we find out like one of them one night was just crying, 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 and then I picked her up and her stomach felt hard. I said, Oh, she'll use the bathroom. So, not all the time was she getting to make sure all of them can pee and poop. So, I just take them and you know, stimulate them myself over the toilet like that. And then we figured out, you know, if they crying, they don't, and you see like nothing's wrong, nine times out of ten, they gotta go to the bathroom. But okay, so now moving on to the puppy. They're two weeks old, majority of them uses the bathroom by themselves. Well, I think all of them, but she still they still can be stimulated. They just was dewormed on Sunday, because every Sunday they turn a week. They were just dewormed and oh with her after you know, because they eat the poop, she her stomach. Like she had diarrhea the next day after doing after they was dewormed. So yeah, the eyes are open now. Um, some of them had problems latching when they was first born. So, you know, that's what, once again, from us bending, helping them, you know, they'll come right out. Like one of the ones, she was the smallest. She's actually the second biggest now. You know, she perfected it. And she was a colicky one. Um, she didn't, uh, she had problems with gas or whatever. So 
um, me putting her on the boob, she'll pop right out and she'll whine while she's on it. She was just crying all night long. So I figured out like when me holding her like this, it helped her pass gas, you know, and I was massaging her stomach like while I'm holding her like this to help her. And I was just, oh, I'd be rocking her like a little baby for her to go to sleep because she had Roy stressed out. Roy would cry when they cried. So yeah, I had to do that with her. Right now it's good. She's fine, fine. So colic is going. She didn't have to take drops, thank God, because I really didn't want to give the medicine that long. I really didn't want to deworm them at two weeks because I heard horrible stories about deworming them. Like a lot of people said they those had died. I don't know what type of dewormer. The dewormer, it does say it's supposed to have a great taste. They said the dogs like, but these puppies only ever had milk. When we gave it to them, I, I didn't take video of it because I was so nervous of giving them the medicine. Um, when we gave it to them, they tasted it, and then they started shaking their head so fast. Like, I thought they was having seizures. I was scared. You know, so I didn't get video of that. I also checked their collars every day to change them out. We don't have the Velcro ones anymore. I'm going to show you guys which ones I have. Because the Velcro ones, they get dirty. I see somebody use zip ties. I was like, maybe I'll use that next time. Plastic ones so they can be wiped down. And these Velcro ones that I showed you guys in the video from Amazon, I just rolled it up like this. And let me show you one that they have used. Because they they end up being around their neck and looking like they have a guy who wants a scarf on, okay? So, yeah, they didn't work out. And then when I washed them, the second layer had came off. So this is how it was looking. Like, you know, it will be thicker than this. So I don't suggest this. I just wore a whole thing of strings from Amazon. Not Amazon. What did I get from? Walmart. Yeah. And I just cut them and make them long enough. Let me show you guys. And I probably use like nine pieces. And I just braid it so it could be a thick band. Like there we go. And I'm just making them longer and longer as they get bigger. So this is what I've been doing, you know, and I just tie it off on them or whatever, you know. And when they get a little older, like right before they leave, I probably buy them collars, you know. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing right there for that. Oh, and I also have, oh, you can follow our girl's Instagram right here. So you can get any updates or if you want to inquire about buying one, okay? I also have pumped my dog with a regular breast pump um, that I got from Target. How much is this? Oh, oh I got it downstairs. This is in the washing machine. Not washing machine, dishwasher. You know, what kind of, what brand is this? I think it's Lancome. No, what is it called? Ooh, I can't say that word. <laughs> Yeah, it's this brand that I got. It's a manual one, but you'll see it from the, the video, you know, and I just put it on the smallest one. This is the biggest one. I think the small one was like 25. So I just put it on that and I pumped her. I got three ounces from it. You know, I'm going to use that milk. Oh, my bad, ruffling it back. I'm going to use that milk to put in their first feed. So that way, you know, they ha taste something that's familiar. So I'm going to do that. They're going to be eating food probably like in a week or two. You know, some of them are growing teeth now. They've been biting each other. They Since their eyes are open, you know, and they actually are seeing and focusing, they're biting each other. You know, two of them have standoffs. Okay, growling at each other. They don't hear yet. Next, I think... Probably by Sunday, maybe they'll start hearing. I'm not too sure. How will we know? I don't know. Maybe once they hear barking, we'll see if they had turns or something like that. So, yeah. They've been doing that to each other. I'm showing sure you a video of them. They're so cute, though. Yeah, they've been doing that. Um, I think that's probably about it. But I'll show you. So, another thing that I didn't know is that if the mom discharged it on them, it can get the fur become hard and it stays on it longer, like the fur will um, come out. So that's why I was showing you that spot in the last dog that it was lighter at. Hers, you can see it where it looks a little darker at, it's still there. And it was hard to get off. We had to use Dawn. 
If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, leave them down below. Until next time. Peace.